what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Volo Volo And today we're going to be blasting Copenhagen's Frontalith Chimerian Offspring EP on Extremely Rotten Productions. This is so fucking good. Gorgon Head's probably one of my favorite Frontalith tracks. It's fucking awesome. And Chimerian Offspring Part 1. So goddamn good. I have no idea, honestly, if this ever got a 7-inch release, but I'm sure if it did, it would be on MSUO or Night Shroud, maybe. I, I have no fucking clue, to be honest, but this is one of my favorite Frenolith releases. Like, I love the demo stuff, and this EP is just such an amazing, amazing listen. Desolate Endscape is just, though, the fucking bee's knees. I love that record. But, also on Extremely Rotten Productions, but originally on Dread Records, we have one of my favorite underground death metal bands that, for their first run, never got to do a full-length record. But, when they got back together things worked out. They got a full length, and then I guess they split up again, which is a bummer because the new, newest Dr. Shrinker record, Contorted Dioramic Palette, is so fucking good. It's a goddamn shame if this band really did disband once again. Because Hailing from the Midwest scene, like, Dr. Shrinker originally started in fucking 1987 and broke up in 1991 when death metal was, you know... 1991 is a very, very important year. Same thing with 1993 and I would even say 94. Around 1995 was kind of when things started getting a little stale, but then you have records like None So Vile by Cryptopsy in 1996 really kind of reawakening the whole entire creative mind state and what's actually possible when it comes to death metal. Dr. Shrinker here with Contorted Dioramic Palais absolutely bring some of the most unique sickening and just awesome death metal vocal delivery that you're probably gonna next to Macabre I think Dr. Shrinker probably have some of the most unique vocals in all of death metal and both bands are from the north are from the Midwest and fucking rule. So I just think it's definitely a Midwest thing to kind of think outside of the box when it comes to vocals. I mean, even Motor, for example, are one of those few new death metal bands that no one else remotely sounds like. And it's mostly due to how good their vocalist is. He just has a very, very distinctive vocal range that I don't really hear anyone else even coming close to. And the same thing here goes for Dr. Shrinker and Richard B. and Nolan Jr. Like, his vocals on here are so fucking cool, and you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them. That's just the way it is when it comes to Dr. Shrinker. But... Riff-wise, and just when it comes to the guitar work on here, holy shit, there's some stuff on here that Slayer seriously wishes they wrote. This is a great set slab of Midwest death metal, and it's thrashy as fuck. But at the same time, it's also crushingly heavy, it's disgusting, it's fucking great. Dr. Shrinker is death fucking metal. 
and contorted dioramic palais is just a Midwest death metal masterpiece. Hailing from Milwaukee or Milwaukee, I feel like Dr. Shrinker is one of those bands that even though we have a reissue on Extremely Rotten Productions, Maybe a lot of people either heard the archives that Nuclear War Now put out and was like, oh shit, like, I didn't know Dr. Shrinker had a full length because I know I fucking didn't and I should have knowing that, hey, I like this band. I just honestly never really looked past the demo stuff and I feel like an idiot for not doing it. So thank you, Dave at Extremely Rotten for reissuing this bad boy because this is so fucking good. You got Raw Head Rex, Contorted Dioramic Palette, Repulsive Habits, Chunk Blower, No Way to Live, Tools of the Trade, Mesmerization of a Corpse. I love that art, it's fucking sick. And then we have The Edge of Forgotten Tomorrows and Diminishing Yesterdays. I would get that tattooed on my arm. That thing's fucking awesome. Seriously, so sick how like his head's like stuck to the fucking pillow and it's just gnarly. And I love any time that Dave gets to reissue something and puts his own styling to it as every extremely rotten productions release has like this super cool like typed title and whatnot which makes it stand out from everything else and this is also on a very very nice hard shell and it looks great it's loud as fuck it's just super super well done and hails go to extremely rotten productions and dave for going out of their way and putting out something like this because I know it has Extremely Rotten Productions name on it, but Dr. Shrinker, like I said, even though those archives exist through Nuclear War Now, I would still call Dr. Shrinker a well-kept secret in the death metal community. Or maybe the worst kept secret in the death metal community. Because a release like Contorted Dioramic Palais, like, what the fuck? This is something that should not go over anybody's head that's a fan of thrashing death metal. Yes, there's a lot more to this than like thrash metal riffs and death metal thrown together. There's tons and tons of outside influences, but at the same time, most of all, I hear a lot of thrash riffs that just are refreshing as fuck, especially with the vocals on here. Because, like I said, besides Macabre, there's really not too many vocalists in death metal that have their own styling that is where it's like very distinctive and like if you put macabre next to say um sorry i just drew a total blank but let's say you put on on the gang next to macabre you're obviously going to know what's macabre and what's on the gang because this! Where, you know, Unda Gang is like straight and just real guttural and brutal. Dr. Shrinker have a vocal delivery all of their own, which, you know, I'm going to share with you really, really quick. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, I'm going to blast a little bit, but Dr. Shrinker. Now I just want you to hear the vocals Because you're either going to love them 
or you're gonna hate them. Fucking rich, though. Get into Dr. Shrinker regardless. Rawhead Rex. Very thrashy. It's like if Exodus cared about death metal. Fuck. I love this shit. But I want you to hear this riff coming up as well. This is such a good riff though, I don't care. So fucking good! Told you, you're either gonna love these vocals or you gotta love that. Come on. But I fucking love this album, and I'm so happy and grateful that. Aaron did a tape trade with me and made it possible for me to grab this contorted dioramic palette. Awesome stuff. But I'll turn that down a little bit, but that's Dr. Shrinker contorted dioramic palette 2015. Originally released by Dread Records, reissued in 2019 by Extremely Rotten Productions. Sorry I was Dr. Stutter in this video, but these things happen sometimes. But I love this release right here, and it's a unique slab of Midwest death metal. Hopefully Dr. Shrinker can, you know... Maybe get back together one day and we'll get a sophomore release from these fucking death metal maniacs. Dr. Shrinker. Contorted Dioramic Palais. And we were blasting Frenolith Chimerian Offspring on Extremely Rotten Productions as well. As always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Peace.